Let's go check in with Brandon Truitt, who's in Moorhead City in South Carolina. Wow, conditions definitely worse there now. Angela and Mari, it's much different than when we joined you last night at 11, and it's certainly been getting worse throughout the day. I just spoke with the Carter at Craven Power Co-op. More than 27,000 people here now without power. Trees are certainly blowing around here. It's actually a wonder these are still here. Uh, these light posts that have been throughout this development, at least, have been blowing over. We're certainly seeing some of these gusts that people have been talking about. The town is relatively empty, though, as you can imagine, but there are a couple of people who were just driving around moments ago in this, and that is not recommended by emergency services officials here. Now, so many people were evacuating, in fact, that the Carteret County opening a shelter in, in Wake County up in Nightdale reached capacity. They opened a second one here in Newport to try to get people in. It was rain throughout the day here for us and a mix of wind, but now we're just getting increases amounts of both. Big story, though, these power outages are just continuing, and for people here that are riding this storm out, we are told that crews are not going to be able to start assessing the damage likely until Saturday night or even Sunday. Guys? Again, Brandon is in Moore, Moorhead City, North Carolina. Uh, Brandon, have you seen anybody out and about? Believe it or not, about two hours ago, we saw some people walking toward the waterway. The water is behind us here, and there were people walking out taking pictures, and that is extremely dangerous. It goes unsaid, particularly with these wind gusts maxing out the way that they are. Luckily, though, I'll say in the last hour, we've not really seen people walking out here, but power lines just back behind us along the way are being knocked down. Obviously, red lights aren't working. We're under a curfew here. People are not supposed to be leaving. Some people breaking that a little earlier today. Hey, Brandon, can you give us a timeline of when these conditions started to, to, to get this bad? Sure. So we've had reporters out in Moorhead City, at least, on a rotation providing uh, coverage for our viewers starting this morning. But it really started to pick up wind-wise around 9 o'clock or so. That's when we started feeling the difference. And then we really got hit with it about two hours ago. And that's when we really started to see some of the damage along some of these back roads and the side streets here. Evans Street, really popular for people who know Moorhead City. A lot of fallen trees and whatnot down the way. We're saying here it's a little safer for us. Hey, Brandon, very quickly, can you kind of show us the area around you to, uh, you know, show us what's going on? I know, uh, like with the trees and whatnot. Sure, Angela. Where we're at right now is in between two buildings that are fairly sturdy and we feel safe setting up here. But these trees are um, blowing pretty incredibly. These are very thick palm trees that are set up here. And you can see actually one, uh, there's a car still here and there was a family staying in there actually. They're choosing to ride it out. We're near a ship depot just a couple of blocks down from us where a massive transportation boats um, can come in and drop off stuff. But what we're seeing you can see some of the rain on the pavement um, that is breathing across here and just moving. Um, so far, these structures, so where we're at, these tall condo complexes are holding up pretty strongly. Where we're seeing the damage is on shingles on some of the local businesses that are um, just down the street. But a lot of these places that are built here are made to sustain some of these intense winds. We'll see how much they sustain, though, as they continue to pick up. All right, that's our Brandon Truitt, who is live in Moorhead City, North Carolina. We certainly appreciate it. Be safe out there. We'll check in a little bit later. We